one of the main reasons why the conflict in Yemen should get resolved is because of the impact that it's having on the actual population, the people who are living there. When a country that is so poor falls into conflict, then the impact on the population is devastating. We have a situation now where out of a population of about 30 million, two thirds of them are in conditions of starvation. One of the really um, concerning aspects is the impact that it has on the development of children. Um, it's not just that they were hungry and now they're no longer hungry. It, it, it affects their intellectual, their mental as, as development as well as their um, physical development and, and therefore their, their capacity to learn. And so when you have this prolonged starvation, the effect on children, the people who are going to be the future of the country one way or the other, then you're already cutting that future off at the knees. What's special about crisis groups um, field research is first of all the fact that we are on the ground and we've been there for 10 years. Also that we are able to speak to all the parties. I mean just um, recently our president Rob Malley was in um, Aden to speak to um, some of the key players but we also have um, talks um, and contacts with the um, separatists, with the Houthis with the Saudis, with the Emirates, with the Iranians, with everybody who is um, directly or indirectly involved, as well as the fact that we have um, our um, positions in Washington and other important capitals in Europe, um, even in Britain and so on, people who are also behind the supply of, of weapons, which is also an important factor. They can afford to be frank with Crisis Group. It's a trusted organisation, a trusted interlocutor in that regard. We are looking for the practical solution that is just and that will work. It has to be practical, um, but without justice, it won't work and it won't last.